I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to find instantaneous rate of change for a trigonometric function. Question is, use the difference quotient to find the approximate instantaneous rate of change for the function y equals to 3 tan pi over 4x plus 2 when a equals to 3 and h equals to 0 0.01. Now, when we have h of 0 0.01, we are trying to find difference quotient uh, we are trying to find instantaneous rate of change for two decimal places. So it will be accurate to two decimal places. So what is the formula? The instantaneous rate of change will be given to us by the function f of a is 3, so 3.01 since h is 0 0.01 minus f of 3 divided by 3.01 minus 3, right? So let's calculate the value of the function at 3.01 first. So f of 3.01 is equal to 3 times tan pi by 4 times, let me write 3.01 for x plus 2. So we can use the calculator to calculate this value. So which is 3 times tan within brackets 3.01 pi divided by 4 now bracket close so I've actually put two brackets I'll put two brackets close plus 2 equals to minus 0 point let me write it here which is equals to minus 0 0.9532 right. now Let's find the value of function at 3. So when a equals to 3, we get 3 times tan pi by 4 within brackets 3 plus 2. Now it's good practice to find these values independently since if you do a mistake, you know which one to correct, right? So tan within brackets we already have 3 times pi divided by 4 bracket close plus 2 equals to minus 1 so this value is minus 1 for us so we can substitute these values and using the difference quotient method we can find instantaneous rate of change as minus 0 0.9532 minus of minus 1 divided by 0 0.01 right so let's use calculator once again so we have minus 0 0.9532 plus 1 divided by 0 0.01 equals to 117 by 25 4.68 in decimals so we get this value as 4.68 right so we can write down our answer and that is the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 3 is approximately 4.68, correct? So that is how you can find it. Thank you.